YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a video of how to start 2019 well. Obviously a lot of people put diet and fitness aside once December uh, Christmas comes around and that's fine. I completely understand and you want to take a break. Some people don't, some people do. Um, I completely understand from both sides. A lot of people put it away to then start in January Sometimes I think, you know, if you start now, you know, you've already got a routine ready for January, but I know a lot of people like the mindset of, I'll start on January 1st, um, I'll get into a routine, I'll start my diet then, post all the festivities, which, you know, it does make sense. So, firstly I'm going to say, don't start on the 1st of January, because I know a lot of people have New Year's Day events, and this is completely fine, nothing... <sighs> You don't want anything to stop your memories that you create and life that happens. You don't want anything to get in the way of that. So I think that you should start on January 2nd. Um, this might not be a Monday. I know a lot of people want to start on a Monday. I think this year it's actually a Wednesday. So this also is one of those things that throws people off. They quite like to start on a Monday. I think don't start on January 1st and don't start on a Monday. Start on January 2nd doesn't mean anything and a Wednesday it doesn't mean anything and use that entire week as a practice trial run then once you get to the Monday you've had a little bit of practice and you're ready to get into it. One thing I would say is always do everything in baby steps whether it comes to going to the gym, the new diet that you're going to start just take every step and every day as it comes so first thing I would think about is your goals what is it that you really want do you want to lose a couple of pounds do you want to lose a stone or more? Do you just want to increase your stamina and your cardio endurance? Do you want to tone up? What are these things that you actually want to do? And surround your activities and daily life around these because once you are doing it for a goal, it makes it easier to achieve. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, well I could be doing with losing a couple of pounds. I'll start in January, we'll see how it goes. If you've got an event coming up that you want to be prepared for and to lose £5 for, then you know that you've got to get to that goal or you've got to get to that date. So setting goals, setting dates, realistic goals, don't do anything too drastic. You know, if you want to lose two stone in two years or, you know, two stone in a year, that's perfectly fine. But don't say to yourself, you know, I need to lose two stone, that's my goal. Do tiny little baby steps and, you know, say I need to lose £5, then I need to lose another £5 and then slowly but surely you will get to your bigger goal. So, healthy eating. There are many, many plans out there and there are many ways of um, choosing what diet you want to go on to, how you track this diet, how you um, approach it. There are so many different ways that I really can't go into. Everybody is different and a lot of my clients have gone on to, you know, Slimming World, Weight Watchers, um, macros, calorie tracking, like all these different type of things and that is perfectly fine but you need to find what works for you. So you need to choose a plan that is going to work for you. If you are not looking to lose so, so much weight and you just need to clean up your diet a little bit, this is the easiest one to go for and I would say talk to people, talk to people like myself. Um, just to become more worldly about the little the strategies that you can take in order to make your new diet, your new healthy plan. And a lot of the time I say to my clients, you know, you don't want to be on a diet and you're not going to be on a diet forever. So make it um, a healthy eating plan that you like to stick to and, you know, have your treats and naughties every now and then. So find something that works for you. Plan it in this week of January 2nd, trial it and see what works and see what doesn't. Each day could be a different way of eating, a different way of trialling it, but you have to find what works for you because every single person is different. When it comes to training, so you want to, do you want to join a gym? A lot of people do want to join a gym, that's great, sign yourself up or I would recommend going to several gyms and just having a day pass and trying out each one, see which one you like, see which one you're comfortable with, trial this out. If you don't want to start off with a gym straight away, 
that's great. I would also advise, you know, doing your own little things at home, checking out things on YouTube. I'm putting loads up this year of home workouts, cardio that you can do at home, you know, walking, cycling, all these different things that you can do away from the gym. So just see if, you know, if you feel more comfortable of doing things outside of the gym, that's perfectly fine. Maybe try a few classes. If you're scared of doing this alone, take some friends along, try different classes. See which ones you like that you want to maintain throughout January, February. See which ones that you actually enjoy that you do actually want to go back to. So training can also be another thing that can be quite daunting, like a diet. And it's all about finding what works for you. Obviously, everybody's diet is different and so is everybody's training and what they enjoy, what they like, what they don't like and what they can stick to. Touching on the point about taking a friend to classes, Find a friend to do this with. If you're doing it with your family, you're all, you're all going to achieve and push each other and motivate each other to do better. If you and a friend are doing this as a team, it's likely that you will stick to it and manage to cope. If you've got some support, if you're telling someone, texting someone, or you work with them and you're discussing what's going on, you're likely to achieve it and support each other along the way. So, rewards. When you've done something, really really well and say you've done your diet for a month, you've done your training for a month, you've stuck to everything and you're really really proud of yourself. Sometimes you might not be able to see like the, the physical reward in the sense that you might not have lost as many pounds as you'd hoped to and things don't happen overnight when it comes to training and fitness and you know that's that's just life. So we have to reward and mentally think about the progress that we have achieved so always take time out to maybe write a diary or just discuss with friends and family around you the things that you have been able to achieve and what you have done over this time if you were to make a book which i'm doing for my clients for the new year each week they're gonna not only be able to track their fitness their training their meals their weight they're going to be able to track their feelings and emotions down as if it was like some kind of diary. So you can see how you go mentally through each week and how you progress on the mental side, not just the physical side of things, because mentally fitness and diet can be very draining and it can take it out of you. And some people literally feel like they can't do it, but you can. So I would recommend getting some sort of book, some sort of diary and writing everything down. It really does help or, you know, just talking about it. And as for rewards, you will seek seek the rewards through the fact that you will read this and think, wow, I couldn't do that a couple of weeks ago, or wow, can you believe I did 30 minutes on that when I couldn't even do 10 a month ago? You will see your rewards through that way. As a physical reward, a lot of people reward themselves with food, and when this is like a diet and training thing, you probably don't want to reward yourself with food. And I get that, but at the same time, I do say to my clients, little treats are good for your body, not only for your physical, like metabolism, etc. They are good for your brain and your mental health. You do need diet breaks. And I always say to people, they fit into your life. There is nothing wrong with treats. You need to make these become a treat that you have two chocolates rather than 10. It's about learning that. And that is also a learning curve that happens throughout the progress, throughout the progress of training and fitness. And you learn this along the way, but it's also something that you could find, you've written down, you know, today, I didn't eat 10, I ate two, and that is progress. And your reward was not only the progress, but the fact that you did get two chocolates. I do say that having those rewards in food is not always the greatest, but you need them. I would say to my clients, reward yourself with a different thing. What was something that you've really wanted to buy yourself and treat yourself to? For example, if you stuck to all your training and all your diet, if, is there a mascara that you'd really like to buy? Is there a new pair of trainers that you'd like to have for you to go to the gym in? Like physical things throughout treating yourself could be another way that you do this. So I've done everything this month. I'm going to reward myself with some new makeup. You know, it can be anything. Just don't always relate it back to rewarding yourself with food. Food is to be enjoyed and it is a pleasure, but don't reward yourself with it every single time. So we've touched on the main points and I'd just like to say like to start off your 2019, just plan ahead. Always think of what you want from the future. Always think of your goals always think about how am I, how is that going to make me feel in a few weeks time and just you know stay on top of your training your diet your exercise your water keep your water up and you know don't fall for any of these 
fads that you see on Instagram. Just consistency is key and stay to it. This is a short and sweet video, but I thought I'm just going to put it up and just any of these ideas, you know, I say to them pe to people in conversations that, oh, I haven't thought of that. And I'm thinking, okay, I think like that all the time. So maybe I should just share this little snippet on YouTube. So I'm just going to put this up for you at the start of January and just, you know, what, take what you can from it. And I hope that your diet and fitness lifestyle gets off to a great start in the new year and any questions then feel free to message me on my Instagram or my Gym Chicks page on Facebook because I'm so willing and happy to help so yeah have a great Christmas and happy new year um, and see you in 2019 bye